Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, yet again with another Saving Your Disastrous campaign um, run. My name is Saiken and this campaign here is called The Royal Disaster. We're in episode number four and this time yet again we need to defend our Avenger or we need to defend the whole game against being completely effed up. I assembled our 10 best um, operatives, order, including our newly gained um, our newly gained Nightwalker, who will scout for us. And that's good to know. We can indeed blow up the whole uh, the whole building if we so desire. Oh, look at that beautiful pack of chrysalids. We definitely don't want to mess around with them. And that's three mutants plus an archon. Also, pretty difficult pack to be honest. Let's see what we can do. I'd like to get everyone into position. Putting the grenadiers into position, afterwards putting the snipers into position, no and problem, if possible boss. into full cover. Not a problem. We brought Doc here with us, and you can see um, the uh, missions to defend the Avenger are a bit different uh, from the normal missions, so I am allowed to bring um, units uh, with us that are highly uh, damaged. Doc is still pretty damaged from his last mission. However, get since we just recently turn. got her, the advanced um, medic or field medic uh, perk, uh, that means the one med kit that we bring with us turns into three. So I, w I took the liberty to bring her on along onto this mission. Heading to that location. All right, and we got two stealth units, Reapers. On the move. Which I'd like to bring into the combat as far as possible. Plus, look at this, we have our bad boy uh, Skimitar here. I figured if we're playing with Max, might as well do it the right way. We upgraded his weapon, so he's ready to go. Good, we got the full Overwatch trap here. Yeah, and it is not surprising to see the Chosen One joining us. She still got the same skills, Bewildered um, and uh, she can be hit by Reapers. Need to be careful once she joins us, she definitely needs to die. So I would think it's two rounds until she uh, will run over the battlefield. That's usually how long it takes um, on this specific map. All right, so if we were to trigger them, one way of doing it is use a big fat shrapnel. Fortunately, we can't hit it, but we certainly can hit it with one of the snipers. No. That's a bummer. Moving up all the way. Made to scout out what else is there. Yeah, so this time we can uh, see, we can see it and hitting it with the, the sni uh, sniper rifle will deal eight points of damage to all of them, plus shred their armor.
a very good engagement. Now, they have taken full cover. Not very surprising, to be honest. And we are going to take full cover ourselves. <coughs> Let's not go too far into, into the, uh, the um, battlefield, because I don't want to, to uh, fight against the Chrysalids or the other pack. We're mainly removing cover at this time. Yeah, moving into full cover ourselves. Very good. And then just really removing cover left and right. Okay, so that was good. That was very good, to be honest. Let's see. I will save our Mimic Beacon for later. <coughs> so we got some good uh, potential shots. I'd like to try moving into full cover, even though we're being spotted out. Still fine. There we go, one of them down. Let's not use the highest damage weapons on the already injured uh, mutants. Instead, slowly but surely moving up. On your order. And killing this mutant here. There we go. I'm pretty sure we don't need another Mimic Beacon, so I'm moving up, trying to get the next Mutant. careful moving not too far to the front line <clears throat> I have a great respect for the chrysalids and what they can do nice might as well hit the car once we definitely don't want to explode it for now, because that would trigger the chrysalid pack. I think we are better off with not triggering it at all. Should I double check that for you? And yeah, putting our mech into a somewhat secure position, overwatching. So we should um, be aware that the Chosen will probably join us next round. We've just been spotted out. Are you sure this weapon was properly assembled? Fuck. Oh my god. That was a very, 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 very bad idea. Oh my gosh.
<laughs> oh, we are fucked. End is coming. <laughs> yeah, that that's true. The end is already here. So unlucky movement of the enemies, very unlucky. Moving into the building. Shadow stalking. And let's stay here for now. This is a huge mess. Oh my god, this is a huge mess. Well, we're standing in full cover, so that's at least something, I would say. We don't have cereal or any real valuable multi-damage or group damage abilities. That's a bit of an issue. Alright, moving over here. We're going to give um, him 8 protocol just in a second. I was hoping that we could get a grenade a bit more to the uh, to the left. But we can't. It's it is what it is. Chrysalids are our first target. There's no doubt about it. Might as well take away this cover here. This is for you. Giving him another chance via teamwork just to improve uh, the damage that he can do. And let's focus on this mutant. Uh, unfortunately, not a hit. That would have been important to hit this guy. This is the right uh, moment for an overdrive. That's one hit. Yeah, we probably need to move a bit closer. This unit is relatively agile. I really want to make sure that we can kill these guys here. If the chrysalids lash into us, this game might be over. And as so often, little things are in the way, in this case, this box. Moving up, two points of damage with a secured um, combat protocol, just to get the mutant down. 
the camera perfectly follows her instead of the mutant. Unfortunately, can't reach anyone else other than this guy, but that's okay. Eventually, we also need to kill him. Oh, bummer. Well, I guess we can quite confidently say it can't get any worse, so might as well position ourselves onto the rooftop. From here, we could hit each of them with a 100% chance, that's not too bad. Before we do so, let's continue moving in. And get the chrysalids. There's one down. Come on, hit this guy. God damn it. Okay, we're running out of troops. This is difficult. It's probably not enough damage. No, it isn't, because we can't crit this guy. Holy moly. So it's time for a Mimic Beacon. I guess there is no questioning this. But even with the Mimic Beacon, I think we're not going to detract all of their attacks. That being said, this here should be at least a kill. So we're down to two chrysalids. Yep, we're down to two chrysalids, pretty much. Don't want to use the flashbang. Chrysalids are just moving in, but they haven't attacked. That's good. Oh boy. Come on, move in as well. Well, at least the Mimic Beacon uh, was worth its money. I do have the slight feeling that the Chosen might use this moment in time to attack us. Oh, holy moly, we're lucky. So, since we have no ranged opponents, other than the mutant here, I might be greedy and actually take the loot. On the move. Not the worst. Advanced scope is good. So, let's make sure that we got everything sorted out correctly, right? So, could we go for the mutant? We could. We could also use a grenade to get him out of there. Moving into a better position. Let's actually start hitting the chrysalids. God damn it. Good, only one chrysalid left. Uh, 
I think the Cyber Shots are well targeted towards the Berserk because we need to deal with him as well. That's okay. We go. Berserk is going down. Perfect. All right, we're sending in the open. That sucks, but it is not as bad as you can as you would think because we will kill the mutant, and the chosen one, anyways, is going to attack us, regardless of where we stand. So, reloading, and let's take the shot at the mutant. You know what? I don't like the odds. What I like much better is... ...using a grenade. Although we're now out of grenades. But just getting rid of their cover is super helpful. Yeah, this here might as well be a kill. Moving in closer. Well, not a total kill, but very close to it. Moving into full cover. By the way, the fire slows down the FPS quite substantially. Can't really do anything against it. The fire will hopefully stop burning in a second. Moving in deep, mainly to uncover the Chosen. Very nice. She's revealed. Oh shit, that was the first big hit, need to be careful here. So the Chosen summons another mech unit. Yeah, and probably... Yep, there we go. Hits, hits one of our soldiers. Let's hope she's not being able to move away too fast. We've got a soldier down. Get to him before the chosen do. Affirmative. Moving out. Easy now, soldier. Well, that's lovely. She has so much movement, it's almost impossible to catch her. Moving to position. So she's right over there. Do we have any form of cover removal left? I think we don't. No. Everything's been used. That's a slight disadvantage of um, fighting a couple of packs in advance. There's only so much uh, that you can do without removing their cover. I will reposition. So let's try to get the mech down and the Chosen if possible. Uh, 
mech has been shredded and is now to, uh, down to three hit points, which means we can kill it without being revealed. Solid 100% shot. Okay, very good. Well, we got some low um, chance shots on the on the chosen. The problem with these shots is that the chosen has kinetic plating, so every single shot that misses um, will give the chosen a chance to regain more hit points. These soldiers here on the left hand side can't even move closer. Yeah, we're probably better off reloading with her. Give me heal. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Now our... Now our dog is in danger because if she hits Doc, we don't have any med kits left to revive Doc. Nah, that's a problem. Let's still try to hit her. be okay standing in the open because well she whilst she sometimes can use her shotgun it's very circumstantial she almost never does that Good copy. On oh, yeah. can't reach her uh, that's depressing she has chosen pretty much the only spot which we can't reach. That's one turret down, but we still need to deal with the rest. Watch your I'm preemptively going to heal myself. It's a bit of a waste, but she, since she hits for six points of damage, I don't want to lose the soldier. And let's reload. Maybe she does a harbor wave. Oh, grenade. That's even better. It's one of her weakest skills, to be honest. Blinding two soldiers. Really not a big problem. Moving closer to the Chosen, let's try to shred her. I'll get him next time. Your mistake could prove costly. It feels good to move around. Nice one. Very nice. Moving up into a flanking position. I mean, yeah, it's not the the best odds to use a weapon on this uh, range. But if we were to hit with a flanking shot, that would actually be a lot of damage. So it's worth it.
Nice. Very, very nice shot. You cannot hide forever. Good copy, moving on target. No longer Perfect. Perfect. So that went way better than I would have expected. You were the only one to have ever forced my withdrawal. And now you leave me no choice but to flee once again. I'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again, though. So, gotta move over here. I want the high ground for the snipers. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving into full cover. Let's try to get rid of uh, these tanks. That saves us at least some um, some time. Um, yeah, I mean we're we're going to further move down the left flank. Let's get the loot. Advanced expanded magazine and superior autoloader and oh that's great. PCS superior speed that will be extremely helpful for our Templar. I am on the move. The Advent Captain would serve our purposes nicely if it can be disabled. Yeah, we don't want to mess with these guys for now. I think we might as well start bringing down the the main um, cannon first and see where that leads. Moving over all the way to the other side. Like I said, we're taking the left flank now. Probably need one or two turns until everyone's in position. These guys here continue patrolling and that's fine. They, I'm pretty sure they won't um, Spot us out. So first things first. Let's get the snipers into position. Both of them actually. Got it. Nice little high ground there. Secondly, I think since we've destroyed all of this, we might as well just rush in and take solid Reload. position here. Soon need to reload. Good to go. Uh, this here is not offering cover. Seems that this here seems uh, is bugged. We have probably killed it in midst of its sh uh, shooting animation. Apparently that lets it bug out. Move in with our Testing mech into the right position. Definitely need to reload the mech as well. I'm ready. Yeah, let's keep away from uh, from the river bad. No problem, I don't like that. Right, standing in the open. I go where you tell me. The advent power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. It would be nice if we can just explode the advent power uh, cells. These guys here will probably trigger next turn, so we might uh, ready ourselves. If they move down here, they will spot us out. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, might as well um, jumpstart this here. I'm pretty sure there is no one around, but it will hurt the battery. Nothing wrong with 12 da uh, points of damage. And we know that the enemies are here, so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Instead, take solid cover. Haven't spotted anyone out. Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, let's start hitting the battery. The snipers will do that over and over, because once the main cannon is disabled, and once we can actually hit it from here, um, that will be super helpful. Once this one here is down, everything should be good. Maybe they might get up another shot, uh, get off another another shot from the cannon, and that's pretty much it. Overwatch, Overwatch, reload, Overwatch. We got um, overdrive ready. Yeah, there's the next shot from the cannon. Like I said, I'm pretty sure during the next two rounds that we can kill the battery. This here should trigger them. Nice little shot. Oh, damn it. He's difficult to hit. But it's beautiful to see that we finally managed to get it down. Alright, good. Let's rock. So the two of them position behind a couple of rocks. That's fine, that's okay. Um, I think we're just keeping our good cover here. I don't see any reason really to move. That's okay. Again, reloading. And let's take the trooper down first. Lots of 50 50s will end up with uh, actually hitting him and getting him down. Let's give the aid protocol to our mech. So it's considered to be in half cover as well. Negative damage. Reloaded. Moving. Uh, you know what? It would be tempting to actually kill this guy here because it would remove all of the cover. Might as well try to do that, although the odds are worse. Nah, too bad. It would have been a great kill though. So he's almost down, very low, 
Let's move into a better position and maybe we can kill this guy. Of course, for once he's not exploding. But we at least got rid of uh, the cover, so might as well move the mech in, and that should be a kill. Good job. I like the mech very, very strong at the moment. It's going to fall off towards the end game, but for now it's strong. We're continuing to hit the battery, and next turn it'll explode, maybe. Maybe. How many hit points does it have left over? One, two, three. Three and a half, four. <sighs> Not sure. My life is in your hands. Moving it. Slight bit back. Okay, so that would be thirty two damage for everyone in its proximity. Unfortunately, no one's there. Good work out there. All right, General massive explosion. Worked like a charm. Now we just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. Which we are going to do. Oh my god. Now that there's more fire day back here, the FPS is even dropping uh, uh, further. Probably motivate them to move into uh, into us. Taking a bit of a move, uh, side uh, sideway move here. We don't want to trigger these guys. Like I said, moving in into full cover. Let's get the mech first. It's by far the most dangerous one with uh, with its um, with its rockets. Yeah. You know what? Moving over and offering an aid protocol to our frontliner. With the aid protocol, she will not be not only be in full cover, but she would be in full cover plus aid protocol. That's, from my experience, almost not hittable for the enemies. Might as well go for the trooper. We are overwatching, so if they come closer, we would be killing them. And last but not least, overwatch with a mech. Like 
Although that is helpful if someone would be standing there, um, since no one's at the car, might as well not uh, remote start it. So as for the points left, having killed the, the main cannon allows us to basically ignore the timer. Yeah, we're taking some damage on our mech. It's interesting, right. the soldier was moving into plain open into plain open field just to find out that it was a bad idea. Get a little toasty here. Okay, let's start with the most important things first. The purifier has put himself into a very very bad spot, namely he was getting too close to the car and therefore we can explode him. Now wait a second, we might need overdrive later. Reload and let's take a shot. Gosh. The FPS are dropping rapidly, all the fire. Let's try to hit this guy. Nope. That's true, that was not even close. Getting our second sniper onto the rooftop and let's use the momentum to reload his weapon moving over here yeah you can't heal the mech that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Let's continue to try to ki uh, kill this guy. Nice one. Which means we're only having the left camp uh, left over. Every, everyone else is killed. Let's get some reload going. Reloading when necessary. So there's only one camp left and two Humvees or tanks or whatever. Really nothing to to worry about. Nearby. Interestingly enough, there is yet another pack that I wouldn't have guessed that there would be one more. And I totally regret to not have a remote start at this point. Because these guys here are perfectly positioned for yet another remote start. I am trusting you. Look at that. This would kill the entire pack. If they can just stand where they are for now, that would be awesome. So, you know what? I think it's a perfect opportunity to use the snipers, start uh, damaging the, uh, the tanks. Rock. 
and really move back Moving to position. in the hopes of letting the other pack just stand there we're having this nice little overwatch uh, trap Okay. So the the Humvees on the other side are kind of halfway down. Almost killed them. So if the pack remains where it is, I can jumpstart it next turn. Well, that's good enough. Three of them will die. Yeah, remote start. That's beautiful. Look at that. Our world is dangerous. With the explosion of the purifier, the last one even took six points of damage. Twenty-five percent chance. You know what? I'm not going to take a twenty-five percent chance. I much rather kill the Humvees. This here shouldn't trigger anything. Full cover. I'm really not afraid of fighting that uh, trooper. If he decides to move in, I'm pretty sure we are going to just rip him apart. We we must be very very unlucky if we miss all of our overwatch shots. Yeah, that's a way more likely scenario that he's trying to move into a different pack. Back in. All right. Scanning. Yeah, we need to reload our snipers. That's fair. So that's, this is kind of going to be another Overwatch round. At this point, the timer doesn't really matter that much. And an easy solution for the already injured one is we might be able to just headshot him. I go where I am needed. Yeah, here we go. That's not going to trigger anyone. We're overwatching with everyone, including the snipers. One of the snipers can take a shot if these guys are moving at least an inch. No. So they're pretty much set in stone here. Let's kill the last Humvee and see if that uh, changes their behavior in the slightest. We've destroyed all of the enemy siege emplacements. Excellent work, Commander. Overwatch. I'm on it. Come get some. On Overwatch. Watching comes naturally. I'll monitor that area. 
Scanning. Well, they are deciding to not move at all. Okay, cool. Which means we are slowly but surely moving up. Okay. Moving to designated position. I don't want to trigger right away. But it wouldn't be the worst to trigger them maybe next turn. Got it covered. I'm on it. Affirmative, covering Moving to There is another option that we could do. Which I'm not totally against. And that would be just um, haywire protocol the mech because we can do that even from here let's give it a try because there's really not much downside to it a protocoling skimitar in haywire protocol Onto the mech. Going haywire. Fifty percent to lock it down, twenty-five percent to take it over. Go big or go home. We can choose one of this one. They did not even react. I can't believe it. Okay. So you're telling me we can basically wait three more rounds. One. Two. Three. And just try Haywire Protocol again. I think that's incredibly nice of the enemies not to attack us trying haywire again it's cool it's cool not sure if the supercharge effects will stack one Two. <laughs> Three. It's a lame tactic, but I don't want any more injured soldiers. We don't have real cover removal at the moment. And the mech would help us out with it. So let's try that again. I mean, 25% is not that bad. It, it's one out of four. Nah. One. Two. Th 
three. And four. Again, once you put out the uh, the trucks and the cannon, this mission here becomes more of a timerless mission. 25%. Oh, beautiful. There we go, finally. And we even have the chance to get the uh, get the advent captain. Let's try getting the heavy lancer first. Out. Are they just standing there? It's still moving. Okay, so Going even over, when we're opening up on them, they're not doing anything. That's very strange. Guard duty it is. Go, go, go. Moving a bit closer. I want the advent, um, the advent uh, okay. captain, because a school jack now means we're even further reducing the progress of the avatar project. So these guys stand completely in the open. That's okay. You are basically telling me, you know what? Just hit the guy with a rifle. <laughs> okay, one what down. Do well, now they react. Finally. They did not know. We have taken over the mech. Big fat flashbang grenade so that the Advent Captain cannot really do anything. Moving closer to the Advent Captain. Got it. We'll eventually get there. No, we don't want the officer. Not yet. So let's move in. Move into full that. cover. Roger that. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. Good moment in time to overdrive. To take a shot at this trooper here. Nah. Let's give our mech a little bit more cover in a protocol. Be 
We might be able to hit him. We won't crit him. No. It's fine. We couldn't have done anything else anyways. They will probably go for the smack here. Yeah. Very good. So we can finally skull jack him. Moving in. There we go. Beautiful. We have complete access to the Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our So the Codex is the least of my concerns. Let's first and foremost make sure that we're getting rid of the cover here. Moving into a flanking position, and let's take out the elite trooper. There we go. Well done. We can continue harassing our own mech for now. We don't need it after this turn. Missed the target. Missed the codex, unfortunately, but that was to be expected, to be honest. Codex isn't going to do much, so I am not afraid of it. It's just going to drop its psionic bomb. A couple of guys will need to move. Let's try to hit it. Missed it again. I was trying to use the weapons that deal a lot of damage to hit the Codex because then uh, the, the, the clones will only have a limited amount of hit points. Okay. Got it covered. Yeah, so we're going to definitely eat a psionic bomb. The codex appears to be in a state of flux. Existing there we go. Hitting three. Dimensions. Yeah. Hitting three. But well, that's okay. In return. We're this time going to hit it. It's cloning itself two ways. I have never seen anything like this. The codex is projecting multiple 
pieces of itself into our dimension. Yeah. Very soon that's not going to be the case anymore. Impressed yet? Oh, hair trigger, hell yeah. It's unlikely that we're going to hit it, but might as well try to give the snipers a couple of kills. I think by now we have destroyed its cover. So this here could kill it finally, and that should be the mission. I don't know which enemies we have missed, but to be honest, I'm fine with it. We got a, we got many, many promotions, and we yet again saved this uh, disastrous run from from ending too early. I think the overall strategy worked well. As soon as uh, we had the control over the timer, the, then the rest was no longer a big threat. So moving forward, what's the next step? Um, now that we also defeated the Chosen, I think it'll take one or two more months until she's uh, back in business. Might as well use that time in order to find her stronghold and actually um, assault her. Oh, nice. The mech has been uh, has received an upgrade. So he skilled the mech with um, adaptive aim. When overdrive is active, standard shots do not incur a penalty. I would have probably taken the same, yes. Uh, over Bulwark, although Bulwark isn't bad either. Equipped Heavy Max, um, yeah, I, I guess I would have taken Rainmaker here. Because a larger area of effect and more damage on the rockets is actually pretty good. Um, when, target, uh, when attacked by a target, the enemy has a chance to panic. I don't know. Um, maybe. I like Wrecking Ball as well. It, this is just not a very strong tier. Because you don't want to be attacked in the first place, and this here is situational. It's almost like it's almost like the um, the ability of the wrath suit, so the wrath ability to move through walls, just with the exception that you actually destroy walls. Maybe it's okay if you aggressively go in and remove cover with a mech, so maybe you can make an argument that wrecking ball is even a bit stronger. Repair, send the bit to a, a damaged uh, Robert ally to repair it. Advanced bits can repair slightly more. Or launch the bit to a visible location where it releases a powerful explosive blast. I can already tell you what we're going to take. I know what the designer, uh, what the player of this safe game would have probably taken. Bombard. Well, that's a stupid idea. Um, he can't be healed so far and we need more healing on the, uh, on the Mac. Um, Shadow Strike is not a good ability if, uh, compared to Shadow Step. He should definitely have taken Shadow Step. And we're going to continue with Run and Gun, which is an incredibly good ability. Promoting our Sniper. Um, like I said, that I would have probably gone for Lightning Hands over Dead Eye. There can be an argument made. Lightning Hands is more universally applicable. Uh, for Death from Above versus Quick Draw, there's not even um, a question that Quick Draw is better. Um, and yeah, finally, we're getting some more uh, traction with Healing Protocol. Commander. Please thank our troops for completing what was surely so advanced scope very nice we got uh, PCS we got a superior autoloader which is great and dozens of corpses mental fatigue starts to impact our soldiers tactical effectiveness when they don't have a chance to rest we should give them a few days off to recover if we can manage it. So we got a soldier bond available here. 
a specialist with a sharpshooter can do that, yes. And his soldier bond is with a Templar. I think that's fine as well. So we got these bonds ongoing. By the way, still got a promotion here. Um, I would have gone with Shadow Step and over Shadow Strike with the availability of um, of of uh, reapers phantom had not been the uh, the the main focus so i would probably go with blade master shadow step instead and last but not least our new grenadier whom we have just taken onto the mission he got himself upper rank to corporal that's helpful and he's just barely tired. Yeah, the problem is our main team here needs some rest. Lots of gravely wounded 39 days, um, which tells me we might need an infirmary and a training round. So that's an issue. Three more days until one is ready. Um, we're low on supplies, which is the next thing we should do. Um, but yeah, laboratory, uh, not laboratory, uh, infirmary and training center. We have enough power and this year should yield us more resources. So three more days and we should be fine. Gosh, intense. I commend your troops for their resilience in defeating this creature, Commander. The alien. So we reduce the avatar process by further side. two. Oh nice, a spider suit, that's good. We've located the Elder's Hunter, actively working in this region, Commander. That's all fine and good. So the uh, main important piece is that we do have this station here. Double agent is a really good uh, trade. We might even consider building, uh, building this um, tower in order to get the trade. Yeah, this here is okay for now. I think the next make contact needs to go via here and here. We really need to fo mainly follow the um, the facilities and where the most bleeps are located. So we're going to go for the supply drop because we don't have enough uh, additional contacts. Uh, let's double check if anyone here offering contacts, Intel, Alloys, Supplies, Intel, Alien Alloys, no. Setting course for sector 16. He already started with a radio relay here but never finished it that's not a bad moment to start with it um uh, to continue it i'm just thinking we probably should get the supplies in order to start building that's more important now so that the timer for the buildings is actually moving and we can get the oceana bonus right afterwards Look at that, 145 supplies, beautiful. So we can start 24 days, 42 days. Let's start with the infirmary. It'll take us some time. And yeah, the second uh, the second building here um, will be the training center and we need to upgrade the the power in order to even do that probably also one option to get more resistance contacts i can see that he has already built resistance communications 
so we can get more contacts and expand further which should be our next priority not only to improve the income but also to actually gain another option to reduce the avatar project this guy here needs or this uh, the safe game here needs avatar project reduced the results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating okay so that's now it's going to be important i mean there are a couple of things that would be worthwhile um, researching i'd probably start with advent mac breakdown because that gives us blue screen rounds incredibly important probably one of the most important breakthroughs and it also allows the Elarium uh, research so i would consider that to be the single most important piece here these robotic very very helpful to have that expectations as to the limited resources Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, so an engineer and counterattack. Advent units have a chance to enter Overwatch after being revealed. That's bad. We probably need to do this. We could use the intel. Quite frankly to get to new... Um, uh, to, uh, to expand our territory. And this year would be bad as well. Closing the black market. Gosh. So let's do a couple of things here first. First, we need to upgrade this. Continue the excavation. And I would really like to build a training center which means we need additional supplies also we might want to upgrade this here um it's nothing wrong with just starting to uh, starting to do a project that co doesn't cost any money so ammunition is always good um, what is wrong though is not using our time to build something here so let's get the black market real quick and build the trainings uh, and build the trainings uh, facility and then we need to do one of the missions. Market is open. Oh, we got enough trooper corpses. Oh, we got enough trooper corpses. Well, I think we can't get enough money together in order to get the armor upgrade. That would have been awesome. Yeah, I think we're slightly short. Yeah, I don't see how we could get to 300. How much more could we get? Uh, 60 supplies. Nah, that's not enough. That's unfortunately not enough. So I was shortly thinking about whether or not we want to upgrade our armor, because that's really the next thing that is on our list. Training center. Yes, please. Okay, all of the engineers are busy. So the training center will help us to improve our troops substantially. And yeah, 
now it's time to choose one uh, to pick our poison choose one of uh, these missions we don't have any intel and i really want to continue expanding even if that means we're we're having bad events uh, that are happening um, we should expand here and then go there okay so that means our next mission is going to be in new australia 106 intel and effectively uh, uh, countering a hidden event i don't know which one but might as well be one that in um, improves or increases the avatar time but that's going to happen next turn um, i'm putting together the squad in the meantime thank you so much for watching if you like the content uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe